Top 5 Chinese Female Humanoid Robots 2022 Robots come in many shapes and sizes, but perhaps the most intriguing, endearing, relatable, and acceptable are the ones that resemble us, humans. For example, a field hospital staffed by robots, the Smart Field Hospital, opened in Wuhan, China in early March. There, humanoid robots, donated by CloudMinds Technology, a Silicon Valley company, disinfect, measure temperatures, deliver food and medicine, and entertain medical staff and patients. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to AI News Daily. In this video, we will be looking at the Top 5 Chinese Female Humanoid Robots 2022. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. Let's get started. Number 5. Nadine Imagine you are talking to a customer service agent. Obviously, you assumed that this agent is a human being. Well, your assumption might be wrong. You could be talking to Nadine, which is the most humanoid robot in the world. And you could be forgiven for thinking that Nadine is a human as she has a human-looking body with lifelike features. She can even recognize you from previous visits, make eye contact, shake your hand, continue chatting based on previous meetings, etc. Nadine was developed by Kokoro Japan with her software platform developed at the Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. She is currently working as a customer service agent at AIA Singapore, an insurance company. Nadine was developed using cutting-edge robotics technology to simulate human behavior. She has 3D depth cameras, a microphone, and a webcam to gather visual and audio inputs. Then, there are various perception layers that process these inputs to recognize different faces, gestures, emotions, behavior, etc., and then respond accordingly. Nadine also had inbuilt chatbots that allow her to handle different queries and a memory model that remembers different users and conversations with them. In addition to all this, Nadine can also converse in six languages, namely English, German, French, Chinese, Hindi, and Japanese. So, you won't have any problems talking to her. For facial expressions and upper body motions, Nadine has a total of 27 degrees of independence. When it comes to people it has met before, it recalls details and events about each of them. It can read stories, display videos, hold Skype sessions, send emails, and connect with other family members to help people with special needs. It can work as a receptionist in an office or be committed to serving as a personal coach. To collect visual and audio inputs, she has 3D depth cameras, a microphone, and a webcam. Number 4. Sophia did you think only humans could obtain citizenship in a country? Well, that's not true now. Sophia, a humanoid robot developed by Hong Kong-based company Hanson Robotics, was the first robot ever to be given citizenship of any country. Sophia is now officially a Saudi Arab citizen, and she is an extremely popular robot. She was developed to look like Audrey Hepburn, a famous Hollywood actress and has appeared in various interviews with the United Nations, Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon in America, British Broadcasting Company, etc. Mr. Hansen, the creator of Sophia, believes that she will be a perfect fit as an old age companion in nursing homes, a crowd manager in large events or parks, etc. In short, he hopes Sophia can ultimately gain enough social skills to interact convincingly with human beings. These capabilities are embedded in Sophia using neural networks, expert robotic systems, natural language processing, machine perception, motor control, etc. She uses machine perception to recognize human faces, understand different emotional expressions and hand gestures. Then, various path planning algorithms are used to control her hands, eyes, legs, etc. Sophia uses natural language processing to interact with different people and respond correctly which is very helpful in interviews. All of these interactions are stored on a cloud network which allows easy analysis of conversations using blockchain technology. Sophia can see thanks to cameras embedded in her eyes and computer algorithms. She can keep track of people's faces, maintain eye contact, and remember them. A natural language subsystem allows her to process speech and have conversations. Sophia was given usable legs and the ability to walk in January of 2018. Number 3. Sandbot An artificial intelligence-powered humanoid robot, the Sandbot, has been used for years now by customs workers at the Gongbei port of entry in China. 
Since October of 2016, officials have been using 50 Sandbot units in order to ensure improved security, efficiency, and customer experience at the busy immigration and customs terminal between Macau and mainland China. In 2013, more than 99 million people were apparently processed through the border terminal. Designed and built by the Chinese CCTV surveillance equipment manufacturer Kihan Technology Company, Sandbots are service robots powered by a cloud-enabled app ecosystem designed to be deployed in a wide variety of settings, including retail stores, schools, and hospitals. The company calls this robotics as a service. It's precisely the Sandbot cloud platform that makes it unique, according to Kihan. This is the technology that enables customs officials at Gongbei to equip their units with the functionality to answer passengers' questions in 28 different languages, perform facial recognition to help detect potential security threats, and alert human workers of questions and tasks beyond its capabilities. The robot supposedly uses a set of AI algorithms to deliver personalized communications. At Gongbei Port of Entry, the robots have been programmed to respond to over 3,000 commonly asked questions and provide guidance on local laws and regulations to those traveling across the border. With thousands of travelers passing through each day, Gongbei Customs is always looking for new solutions to help us ensure that service is fast and our borders remain secure. Sandbot fit that mold perfectly, said Zhao Min, director of Gongbei Customs. Number 2. Han a humanoid robot able to recognize and interact with people has been demoed at an electronics fair in Hong Kong. The robot head, called Han, uses an array of cameras and voice recognition technology to see people and have conversations with them. When paired with a mobile app, Han can engage in basic conversations and go through a range of complex facial expressions. About 40 motors control his artificial facial muscles, Hanson Robotics told routers. The face is covered in a soft, flesh-like rubber known as frubber, allowing it to move in a human-like way. Not only can Han detect people, it can also recognize their gender, age, and whether they are happy or sad. Its developers said it could find a use in hotels and other customer service businesses. The humanoid robot is just ahead, with its see-through chest showing off a plethora of wires being fed into its brain. Han isn't the first humanoid robot from Hanson Robotics. Previous models include a robotic version of American author Philip K. Dick and a humanoid Albert Einstein robot, developed in collaboration with South Korean robotics firm KAST. Hanson Robotics will use the technology developed for Han on a different face. A Eurasian female called Eva, the sale date and price are yet to be announced. Number 1. Jia Jia Guess who is called the robotic goddess of China? It's Jia Jia, a humanoid robot developed by a team from the University of Science and Technology of China. Jia Jia is considered the most beautiful woman in China, and this effect is only increased by the fact that she can talk to people and reply accordingly. While her speech patterns are still not smooth enough, Jia Jia makes up for it by looking remarkably human-like because of her eye movements and speech lip synchronization. However, a weird thing is that she addresses her creators as my lord, which might just be a Chinese cultural addition. Jia Jia has such realistic expressions as special emphasis was given to her eyes, so that she can catch different gestures, emotions, behavior, etc., and then respond accordingly. She also has speech generation algorithms that allow her to hold a conversation with humans and facial recognition technology that makes it easy to track different faces in a room. Using these technologies, Jia Jia was even able to tell when photographers were taking unflattering pictures and telling them not to make her face look fat on the camera. And so, creators of Jia Jia hope that, with time, her interactions will gradually become even more human and less robot-like. Able to respond to facial expressions with her own micro-level movements during conversations in both Chinese and English, Jia Jia is the result of integrating technologies for cognitive modeling, semantic understanding, automated reasoning and planning, knowledge acquisition, kinematics, and cloud robotics. These technologies have been studied in the Cage Robotics Project by Chen Xiaoping's laboratory at USTC. The award-winning development team has received many international accolades, including first places at the popular RoboCup World Championship and the IJCAI Robotics Competition. The Jia Jia project is just one aspect of the computer science and information engineering programs at USTC, 
which use high-performance computing to help develop intelligent technologies. Another group is working on a smart bed to monitor motion and vital signs at the Laboratory for Intelligent Networking and Knowledge Engineering, led by Li Xiangyang. With that, we come to the end of this video. Consider subscribing to our channel to not miss out on any of the future fun.